We're here at Knoxville Raceway with tonight's feature winner, Donnie Schatz. Now, I was looking up some stats. This is your 13th win at Knoxville. Did you know that? No, 13 is uh, normally a bad luck number, but it's uh, it's been a good one for us tonight. Definitely, uh, I don't count wins. We just, you, you come back and you keep trying to do what you do and um, with a great race team and these guys and just have a lot of fun and we're just lucky to get to Victor Lane here. You had a good battle with Brian Brown on the start, and you know I knew that if you got to the bottom, you were going to be unstoppable because you you run the be the bottom better here than everybody else. Once you get the bottom rolling, there you're unstoppable. Well, the bottom wasn't as good tonight as it normally is, and it's just a byproduct of all the rain they've had during the last 24 hours and the way they had to prep the track just to get it to where we could race on it. You know they had a little ledge down there, and it was still a little bit greasy right at it. So you get down and touch it, and you'd slide out of it. It just uh, they did a really good job with the racetrack for what they had to work with, and it just it rained here. I think right up till about eight o'clock and I honestly thought they were going to start us hot lapping and time trialing with sprinkles coming down and uh, you know it was a little bit disheartening but it did stop and we were able to get the show and just glad to have a good night. Now this is your sixth win of the season and um, you're just on a roll and it's you're on your way to get another uh, consecutive uh, championship. Oh, there's a long ways to go there it's uh, we're just doing our job right now you know, we're having fun uh, that's the most important we're uh, we're gelling we're making we're making changes and things for the better and uh, you know you just have to that's all you can ask for I'm glad to be going near home next weekend and um, be, being running good that's always good because we'd like to get a win at home for sure and uh, just see what happens you know it's a the championship is something that's uh, in our minds but it's it's a long ways back in our minds last year we left nationals 150 points out of the lead and we won it by 150 points so it's something that can change uh, on the west coast really easy and uh, we just need to get ourselves in a little better position come that time and see what happens well congratulations to tonight's feature winner and who also swept the weekend for the world of outlaws donnie shots thank you i'm here with tonight's second place finisher brian brown we had a good start to the night you won your heat you won your dash and you got the lead in the feature and had a had a tough battle with uh, Donnie Schatz and you lost it on the cushion and lap traffic. Yeah, we got in there and, you know, I uh, got in behind those lap cars and they were racing hard for position. I just got tight and couldn't get it off the cushion and got into the fence and uh, nearly crashed. It bent the front axle back and uh, it sounds familiar. Wins the heat, wins the dash and leads feature and runs second. But uh, I think we're closing on him. I don't think Donnie was as good as, uh, you know, as, as he was last time we were here. We maybe we got a little better, but um, uh, that's not to say they're not going to get better. Uh, the good news is, is they go away for a while. We can come around here, run two or three more times, and maybe uh, get better for the Knoxville Nationals. You chose the top on the restart, and that kind of surprised me. Um, what made you choose the top versus the bottom? Um, I just think that, you know, the top, you could get going a little bit better where the bottom, um, you know, is just so, so narrow. And, you know, Donnie chose it after the fact, too, after, on, you know, with six to go. And uh, I got a good run on him and, you know, just uh, couldn't get close enough to, to really do anything with him. So uh, I just kept getting tighter and tighter and tighter as the race going on. But I think with my front axle bent back, that was probably a little bit of the issue. So uh, to really come out of here with a second place finish after getting into the fence is uh, not all bad. You know, we've, uh, we've been struggling here the last couple of weeks just trying new things to try to get better. We've gotten a little bit worse. So uh, going back to the basics tonight, and uh, here we are. Well, I believe this is your or excuse me, your third second place finish of the year. You're so close, Brian, so close. What are we going to do? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I we need, need to get some need, luck. You need a BB gun to shoot shots of tires <laughs> on this time. <laughs> Sounds good. Well, you're, you know, you, you have some good luck. You just, you're just, just missing it right at the end. But congratulations to Brian Brown tonight, second place finisher at Knoxville Raceway. I'm here tonight, third place finisher, Paul McMahon. You just stayed in the hunt with everybody, and at the end, you just started picking everybody off. But I, I do have to ask one question. I was watching in three and fours where I could really see, and the cushion kind of looked like it got a little, I guess, feathery, you want to say, that kind of kind of went away a little bit. But you were running the top better than anybody else. Yeah, I mean, the top kind of went away. And, uh, you know, I was super, super tight from the center out. This thing would stand up on the left rear. So, that you know, when it finally did clean off, I was actually able to get the car down and, and, and drive off halfway decent. But uh, had my hands full there uh, for 25 laps. But, uh, you know, it was a good run for us tonight. Looks like the car came to you. Like I said, you were picking everybody off, and you have been consistent. I'm, I'm getting used to interviewing you a lot, and that's, that's going to pay off. And it, congratulations to tonight's third-place finisher, Paul McMahon. Thank you. I'm here with the upset of the night, Bronson Mation, who was quick time, and I, I mean, I was hoping, I was really excited for you, you're running third, and I could hear your motor was going down, and, and three and four was where I was standing, and call, I was upset to see that, that happen at the end. Yeah, with uh, 16 laps to go on the restart, it wasn't running good anymore, but we hung on, and it was okay when we were going, and uh, we're still going to get a good top five, and it uh, just let go on the last lap, uh, so pretty bummed out, but we're glad we have a fast car anyway. 
I was very impressed watching you. You're a, you're a regular here at Knoxville, but to run with these guys that, you know, run day in and day out and to stay consistent with a motor that was going down is very impressive. Sure, thank you. I, you know, we had a decent car and... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think I think the Knoxville <laughs> weekly deal is getting better all the time, and uh, the gaps maybe closing. But uh, yeah, just disappointed. You know, he's up there the whole night with or without a good motor. So. Well, you're definitely impressive tonight. Congratulations, and unfortunately, it didn't end the way you wanted. All right, thank you. Thanks.